Hi everyone, my name is Alina and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make a giant organza flower with lights inside. This is a tutorial for beginners and together with me you can make your own giant organza flower. The materials guide is divided into two parts, first materials for flower and second part materials for leaves and stem. So let's start. To make this beautiful flower today I have shining organza. Wire. At first it was white color, but for our flower I painted it in purple to match the fabric. Scissors. Templates for petals and leaves, all links below. Glue for fabric E6000, hot glue and lights. Also for the flower center we will need these branches with beads. They are sold on Amazon and craft stores like Hobby Lobby, Michaels and come in different colors. For today's flower I decided to use golden color branches and we will need sewing pins. So let's start. First step, let's take our cut of fabric, my strip is 28 cm or 11 inches, and a little extra just in case. We need to fold it into 6 layers and secure with sewing pins, first the fabric itself along the edges and then our template. When everything is secured well, we can cut out it, this way we will got 6 petals just by one cut. Our first six petals by template petal number one is ready. And next step we are going to make large petals. For this we need to cut a strip of fabric 35 cm wide and fold it into four layers. Then lay out our templates, large petal and small leaves in the leftover space. Secure everything with pins and cut out. This way we will got 4 petals and 4 leaves of each size, but for our giant flower we need more petals, so we repeat, cut again 35 cm wide strip, fold into 4 layers, secure with pins and carefully cut.
All our petals and leaves are ready, but the edges of this fabric fray easily. So, to prevent the ends from fraying, run a fire along the edge of the petal. You can use a lighter, but today we have a lot of petals, so it's better to have a nice aroma candle on hand that will 100% add magic to your creative space. Carefully burn the edges of the petal, you don't need too much, just touch it and you will already see how thin wave has formed on the edge of fabric. Now you don't have to worry that the edge will fray and such a flower can be used in a variety of decor ideas and events. This is what the finished petal looks like. In the ready flower such an edge looks very beautiful. Not all the fabrics need to be burned. I work with different types of organza and I have a separate type of flowers which doesn't require burning the edge at all. More information about fabric flowers can be found on my Patreon. The same way continue burning all our petals. When petals are ready, the next step is to shape and fortify them with wires. Let's start with a small petal. Each petal requires three wires. We place the first one in the center and the other two on the sides, as I am showing. Long wire can be cut in half, so that is enough for bigger number of petals. If it's your first flower, you can use the lines on the mat as a guide to position the wire symmetrically. The next step is to apply glue to our wire and place it on our petal. The first one is ready. Turn the petal over so that it doesn't stick to the surface and secure the side wires. To make everything symmetrical, make a small band on two wires at the same time as I am showing in the video and secure the wire on the petal. When you are finished, place a little drop of hot glue at the base to secure the position. The first petal is ready. Finish the rest petals the same way. We make the large petal the same way, put the first central wire and then side ones. And repeat with all the petals.
While the petals are drying, let's switch to the leaves. We burn the edge the same way as the petals. And you will get such airy marshmallows. Repeat it with all the leaves. When all the leaves are ready, we straighten them with wire. We place the wire in the center, without reaching the edge as I am showing in the video. Then apply glue. For the leaves I use a hot glue gun. When the first three leaves are ready, this is what the branch with leaves will look like. Then finish all remaining leaves. This is what all my petals and leaves look like. Leaf number 1 – 8 pieces, leaf number 2 – 8 pieces, petal number 1 – 6 pieces, and petal number 2 – 8 pieces. Let's put everything aside and work with the petal template number 1. We take the first petal and check that there is a fixation everywhere at the base. This is necessary so that the wire doesn't move up or down and doesn't deform the petal. After securing with glue, twist the ends and the most creative thing is to give it the shape of petal. To do this, carefully bend it with wire to the inside and it turns out such a beautiful form of the petal. We repeat it with all the petals. When first six petals are ready, template number one, the next step is to make the center. Choosing the center is always the most difficult part, and by this point I was already beginning to doubt which one would fit better, red beads or gold ones. 
write in comments which one you like better. For such moments I have a little life hack. To choose the right center, firstly attach it to the petals and you will see. If we want to make lights in the center, let's prepare it. In order to do this, we need to unwind the wire and twist. The most important thing is that the light bulbs is at the top of the loop. We make loops of different lengths. I haven't finished it yet and it already looks so beautiful. Wait till the end to see how stunning it will become. This is what finish lights look like. We put our beads on it and we can see how this version of center looks like. I really like it, but it's also interesting to see what it will be with gold ones. Now let's try how it will look with another color center with gold branches, gold beads. Put it all together like previously with red ones and try it together with the petals. It was very hard decision, but today I decided to put gold beads in the middle, because they fit great with the yellow lights. Twist all the ends of the wire together and secure with glue and tape. Our flower center is ready, and now next step – assembling the flower. The first layer consists of three petals. Apply a drop of glue at the base and apply to the middle. Place the second and third petals as I am showing in the video, and the first layer will be ready. This is how our first layer looks like. Place the second layer of petals in the spaces between the first layer of petals. This is such a magnificent center we get. And if you turn on the lights, this is exactly the moment where the magic starts. Now we proceed to the large petals, carefully bend them, shape them and glue to our flower.
glue four petals in order to opposite to each other and the next layer of petals in the spaces between the previous ones, as I am showing in the video. When all petals are glued is my favorite part, to fluff all the petals and the flower will look more airy and voluminous. Next step is to make the leaves for our flower. And to do this, we connect three leaves into one branch and secure it with a drop of glue so that everything stays together. When all the leaves are secured, we cut a strip of crab paper 1 cm wide and decorate our branch by wrapping all the wires to hide the place of connections.
My strip of crepe paper is ready and let's start wrapping the wire. Also, this way we additionally secure all the ends of the wire together and such a leaf looks much more beautiful. All my branches are ready. This is what they look like. You can rub it with paper until the end or just cut off the ends. For now, I decided to leave these ends of the wire as it is, because it's always better to trim at the last moment, when you are sure that these ends will not be needed. For now, let's decorate the flower itself, in the same way, so that it can be easily installed on the stem. For the flower, take a 2 cm strip of crepe paper and, in the same way as with the leaves, wrap it around at the ends of the wire, leaving a wire with a light switch at the side as I show in the video. The flower is ready, it looks so beautiful with the leaves. Now let's make a stem. To make a stem I use bendable pipe with a length of 130 cm. Cut a strip of crepe paper and wrap it around the pipe. There is a second option how to decorate a stem. You can spray paint it, but I want everything to look one style, so I do everything in the same color. The branches and the stem are made using the same method. The branch with leaves can be attached to the stem while wrapping the crepe paper, as I showed in previous videos, but today I will show you a second way how to attach the leaves, which is more practical. And now, when our stem is ready, we install the flower and make a beautiful curve in the stem, so it looks more natural. And now the most interesting part about stem. I will show you how beautifully install the foliage. Take the first branch and twist it around our stem. 
This is what it looks like up close. Look how our flower has changed right away. And if you add the rest of branches, it will be absolutely magical. I place the second branch with the leaves opposite the first one and wrap it in the other direction. And one nice moment, because our stem is not straight and has a curve, the leaves do not slide. I really like this way of attaching the leaves, it looks very airy and delicate. And you can always move or remove or even add more leaves, replace the color leaves if for example your client wants another color leaves for this flower. And here is my last branch of leaves, I attach it just near the flower. And now our flower is ready, very soft and airy, it looks much more beautiful in real life because the fabric shines incredibly beautifully, purple and blue color at the same time with lights in the center. If you want to work with flowers professionally, then soon I will launch a course on silk flowers, where I show all the details and secrets of working with different fabrics, how to color, how to make different types of flowers, more photos and videos on my Instagram, subscribe and let's create together! All information is in the description and pinned comment. See you soon, bye bye!